Hey, people. Hi. It's lobby time, and tonight we have something special for you. Uh, this is a good one. So we are going into our first food truck video that we've Woo! ever done for you. And this is a very important food truck because this one is owned by a musical legend, an entertainment legend. Oh, absolutely. A legend of all calibers. And yeah. that legend lives here in Orlando, Florida. We've actually seen him at our Walmart. Yes, at Walmart. We've seen him in other locations. I've seen him at Universal before. Yeah. A lot of places. But I'm talking about the one, the only, Joey Fatone of NSYNC. Wow. Yes. I mean, we're talking we're talking about the cream of the crop of what we have in Orlando. And I actually, sure. I'm not being sarcastic about that. It's like I get excited every single time that we see him out and about somewhere. He really does. It's so funny. I was more of like a Backstreet Boys fan, but NSYNC's pretty cool. NSYNC's very cool. And so, yes, Joey Fatone has a food truck. It's been around for years. It originally started as a standalone location in the Florida Mall, but it's Fat Ones. It's a hot dog joint. And yeah, yeah they, they got rid of the location inside the Florida Mall, and it has now become a food truck. And... So it actually was it was here in our neighborhood. Yeah. So figured what a great time to make a video about some local Orlando food that then also is from a celebrity. So we let's love that. I, I love it too. So let's go over what we ordered. I got the Angelo, which is our jumbo 100% Angus beef hot dog topped with a whiskey infused bacon onion jam plus a kick of jalapeno in our house-made aioli, served with a side of our Brooklyn Flats. And Brooklyn Flats are not quite a potato chip, not quite a french fry, but somewhere in between, made to order, fresh and delicious. Kylie, what did you get? I got the Bensonhurst. This jumbo 100% Angus beef hot dog features our house-made pimento cheese, love that, crispy bacon, and chopped onion, served with a side of the Brooklyn Flats as well. I stumbled over the last bit. Yes. It's time to eat. Yeah. Okay. And the question is, do we start with the Brooklyn Flats or the hot dogs? Uh, Brooklyn Flats. Okay. Because French fries get cold really easily. Okay. Well. Cheers. Cheers. I love these. Yeah. I really, really like the Brooklyn Flats. It's exactly like it. It's written out on the menu. They're not quite a French fry, not quite a potato chip. So it's like, at first it feels like it's going to be a house-made potato chip. Yeah. And then it, it has that saltiness, but then you get a little bit of the softness of a French fry in it. It yes. is uh, really, really good. And it's excellent. When we put your favorite condiment on it. Ketchup. It will then be absolutely. Next level. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> going to be really good. I might even get a little mayonnaise too. and Get out of town. Yeah, I might do it. I might do that. Maybe ketchup and mayonnaise. Maybe just mayonnaise. I'm not quite sure. You're living on the edge. Okay. But we have hot dogs to get into. So let's go ahead and uh, I pre-cut the hot dogs for us to make it easier. Do you try the same one at the same time or do like opposite? Oh, no. This is all for me. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, no, you don't get a taste of mine. Oh, okay. Mine's spicy anyways. You don't Isn't you don't necessarily spicy? like spicy. I know. don't. So, okay, here we go. Mm. First bite. How's your first bite? That is incredible. Mm. So the pimento cheese comes on really strong, and then the bacon bits are perfect. I don't like, like, the fakey bacon bits. Yeah, you like real bacon. I like real and bacon. this is real bacon. It's real bacon. Yeah. And then on top of that, they have onions, so the onions, like, finish it off. It's so good. Yeah, that's mine is just, uh, it's salty. It's slightly spicy. It's not spicy at first, but then it's got that heat that kind of comes in at the end and just, like, tickles your lips in a way. <laughs> And yeah, it's really, it's really indulgent. And then the aioli that's on it had to, it just has like a nice finish to it. But the star of a fat one's hot dog is the actual hot dog. These yes. things are big, they're thick, they're juicy. They are all of the gross words, but they are a really, really good hot dog. They really are. Yeah. It's so good. Like, if I didn't have all these toppings, I would still be thrilled. Yeah. Just, uh. I agree with that, too. A good, uh, a plain hot dog with ketchup would just be fine here. Yeah. Or mustard, in my or case. Mustard. I said ketchup for you because that's what you like. 
I'm not a monster. I only eat my hot dogs with mustard. I eat it with both. It's You're normal. a monster. You're a monster. But uh, we've got obviously a lot of hot dog and, and Brooklyn flats to finish. So Very important. We'll uh, we'll finish these up and then we'll we'll chat a little bit more. I am so full. I am stuffed. Yeah, that was really excellent. And it was. the hardest part about getting food from fat ones is just choosing what you actually want to get because there is so much on that menu that just looks amazing. And I almost miss like back in the days when they had the Florida mall location, you could actually do a sampler where you got oh, yeah. a little bit of taste of all the different hot dogs that they offer. So like that was the perfect way to do it where you yeah. get, you get a good sampling of all of it. But now having to just choose one, it's like, I, I can't eat there enough. And we actually don't eat there enough. We don't. It's true. Probably for our health though. Yeah. Yeah, for, for a good amount of that. But uh, like I said, it, just a huge fan. Um, it's uh, like, it's also fun just supporting something like this from Joey Fatone in a yeah. way. Like, I know it seems goofy, but uh, he is one of the nicest people. He really is. And like the first time that we met him, I, I saw him at Universal, like I said, a bunch of times. He mm -hmm. used to come all the time, like without a VIP tour guide. Like he just comes to the park and hangs out like himself, yeah. which, you know, not not a lot of people would do that. And he is still a big deal here in Florida. And then the first time we met him was in the Florida mall at his at his food kiosk and he was literally just sitting at a table hanging out yeah. with some of the other people that work there, just like eating and sipping on a drink. And Kylie fought this inner battle on the inside to go over and talk to him. I was so nervous. It was so embarrassing. Yeah. And then you did finally get up the courage after I forced you to go over and say hi. And I said, hi, how are you? Yeah. And that's all I could do. And he was like, good. How are you? I was like, good. And mm. then I ran away. Most people would be like, huge fan, but you went with the straightforward. How are you? How are you? And got your photo with him. You had to go ask him for the photo after because I just. That's right. I like turned away. Like, you know, that part yeah. in um, Superbad where he's like, it's. 10 o'clock and then walks the other yeah. way. That's literally what yeah. I did. I forgot about that. You completely got scared and then ran away. So then we had to re-go back up, get a photo. Which... And you were like, my wife is too nervous to ask you. Yeah. And he was, but he was so super nice. And he had taken photos with like every single person who came up to him. And there, Rhino has a photo with him from a bar in downtown yeah. Orlando. Uh, I even was scrolling on their social media feed and saw that like two or three nights ago at another food truck location that he was just hanging out and meeting people and helping. Such a so nice guy. yeah. So if you're ever in Orlando, you live here and you haven't tried fat ones yet when it's come around to a food truck stop, or if you're in Orlando and look up like all oh, food truck rallies or anything in the area, definitely try to seek out fat ones. Yeah. It's, it's so good. It is mm. so good. And uh, that's it for this lobby time though. We are, we're just sticking with the food. I can't even fathom drinking a beer right now. No way. Nothing else. No desserts, Ethan. Okay, we are going to have Girl Scout cookies after this. Yeah. But not on to. camera. We have to. Yeah, we have to. So uh, that's it for this one. Of course, all the important things you need to remember to to like the subscribe. video, subscribe to the channel, <laughs> leave us all those comments about your run-ins with Joey Fatone. Or your favorite celebrity run-in. Ooh, that's, that's fun. That too. Or just anything. Whatever. Yeah. We know. You already know what to do. And um, yeah, that's it for us. So we will see you again soon with more lobby time. Yes. But remember. Stay healthy. Which we didn't because we ate fat ones. Mm.